After two days of upwind sailing from Pattaya, we had finally arrived in Koh Tao. We'd arrived the night before in the dark, picking up a mooring ball was not easy, but we managed. And then the next morning, we were greeted by this amazing view. This anchorage was stunning and the perfect welcome to the islands of Thailand. Good morning. It is a very big morning here on board because it is their first morning at anchor in this beautiful place where we're not getting up to just immediately move the boat again. And they're getting to do something for the first time. Nick, have you had coffee this morning? No. Why are you working? Why are you working? What are you doing right now? Because the Admiral has decided. I'm the Admiral. We're uh, cracking out our little... Wait. We are cracking out our little... Uh, we'll have to I, I, I didn't situation. Sit that coffee yet. She's waiting for the perfect moment that's going to happen here any second. Yeah, I know. I'm so excited. Do you know what? I woke up this morning, opened up our blinds, and seriously just seeing like these beautiful rocks and this beautiful bay from my bed this morning, I was like, oh man. This is, this is why we do it, you know? Like that's what it's all about. Just be like, oh shit, we're somewhere completely different today. And it's beautiful. And we got here last night, we couldn't see a thing. We could barely find a mooring ball. Thankfully we've got, um, Nick's got a friend who just happens to be chartering a boat who's in this bay. And he got in his dinghy and he, you know, found a mooring ball for us. Um, and that was a huge help. I honestly don't know what we would have done, done without him, to be honest. It was like pitch black. What time did you get up? Have you been awake for a while? 6.30, okay. We're just having a relaxing morning. And yeah. And here we go. Switch the slow-mo. Oh my god. <laughs> you didn't see out my dress, did you? Mm -hmm. oh. a bit more okay. clicks. A bit more clicks. Yeah, okay. I don't, I don't do, do it, that. Do it again and try harder. Okay. <laughs> I had a camera, okay. No, I try not to do that. It would thumbnail material. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would scour everyone to be honest. No one needs to see that. <laughs> I'm Teresa, this is Nick, and this is Ruby Rose 2, our floating home. Join us as we settle into life on board our brand new catamaran, documenting our adventures and never shying away from the reality of boat life. Subscribe to our channel and leave a comment because we love to hear from you and a big thanks to our community of patrons. So Nikki, what have we? Yeah. Um, <laughs> what have we done this morning? We've had a bit of an eventful morning. Um, oh. Yeah. What would you like to know about? I don't know. Um, would you like to know about how we figured out that we um, we did, we really do have a way to moor on this boat? We learned this morning, as we can see in the daylight hours. So that way, when you grab the mooring, you put it here, you run the line through, and then you just toss it off. Oh, so basically, so yeah, so you attach the line, you attach both bridle parts yep. Yep. while it's on the deck. Yep. We had a big kerfuffle with uh, losing the keys to the dinghy. And then finding the keys to the dinghy. We didn't lose them technically. You had never really had them in the first place. <laughs> okay, let's back up a bit. So before leaving Pattaya, Phil, our handover guy, had told us that the keys to the dinghy were in the bow locker of the dinghy. Nick had put his hand in there, he'd felt the keys, he was happy enough with that, and then off we went on our merry way. We were also told that there were spare dinghy keys somewhere on the boat. So we didn't really give this any more thought. And then, of course, this morning, when the time came to actually jump in the dinghy for the first time and start the outboard for the first time, yes, we should have done this in the marina, but anyway, we couldn't find the dinghy keys and we couldn't find the spares. We knew that the dinghy keys were in the locker of the dinghy before we set off. We thought there is no way they could have left that locker, except of course there's a small hole in the bottom of that locker to allow any water to drain. So our working theory was that the keys had dropped through that hole between the two skins of the floor. We couldn't pull the floor up, so the only option really was to try and flush them out somehow. So we tried putting the hose in and flushing them out. We tried lifting the dinghy so that the stern was facing down and the bow was facing up to try and like gravity do its thing. We could not find the keys for the life of us. So we tried to find the spare keys. They were nowhere to be seen. We tried to start the dinghy without a set of keys. That didn't work. Eventually we drained the dinghy and we just kept on hoping that at some point we would find the keys and the way that we were trying to search them was by putting a GoPro between the two skins. So Jason, where was the shot that we needed? It was, back there uh, the yeah. it was with a huge sigh of relief that we finally spotted the keys with the GoPro and thankfully Jason was able to get his hand in there and fish them out.
And when he did, we found that the spare set of keys were actually on the keys. <laughs> so there was a bit of fishing out for that. We had some visitors from some of your friends. Mm -hmm. And now we're working yeah, as we've been all different. good YouTubers do. Yeah. We, 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 we live live for like a day or two and then we like sit and edit for four days because yeah. That's the reality. 100%. We have been in this beautiful bay all morning. We obviously woke up this morning. We're like, wow, this place is like super special. And then we all like, we found the dinghy keys, which was quite the drama. Thank God we found them. And th we didn't find them. Jason found them. J Jason, Jason and his like yeah. <laughs> crazy eyesight. And then once that was all over, me, Nikki and Jason all like disappeared to edit for like four, three hours. And Nick, I don't know what Nick did. Do you know what Nick was doing? He, he was pottering. He went in the water at some point. Was, yeah. Hi, Jason. Why don't you go to me? And now we are moving. We're going to move. We're going to move a couple of bays along because uh, we're YouTubers and we need internet. We've got episodes to upload. So off we go. So forward. The problem with the new boat is you don't know how to moor until you no. have daylight and figure it out. Exactly. We did this all in the dark yeah. and we're like, that's close enough. Yeah. We're attached. That's we made fine. a plan. It worked. Yeah. Okay, stop. Yeah, so we're in this gorgeous bay and we didn't even have a chance to kind of enjoy it and explore and people I can see Get people at I can see people at snorkeling and I'm sure the snorkeling here is really beautiful. But luckily Nick and I are here for like a solid couple of months I think, as in, in this archipelago, so we're gonna come back here on a day that we don't need internet and we're gonna get in the water and have a grand old Up. time. Wow, so many long tail boats. What a stunning day, hey? This is so much better than the last few days. <laughs> yeah, exactly. More short people problems. Okay, I think we got it. Just now the rain will stop. Yeah, that's right. What, then stop? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> When I think about being anchored off a Thai island, this is pretty much what springs to mind. This place is absolutely stunning. So we moved uh, anchorages because we all need the internet. <laughs> it's really pathetic, but that's just life of, you know, the, the, the life that we lead. And I don't know, I thought the other bay was beautiful, but I reckon this bay is even more beautiful. It's got this gorgeous white sand beach. And we've got this constant stream of dive boats kind of coming in and people jumping off and going for a little dive and then leaving again. So we've got a little bit of entertainment. Nikki and Jason have been filming all morning. So they have made an episode of their time on board Ruby Rose 2. So I'm sure that you guys probably have all seen that come up on your feeds. But if you haven't, then go to their YouTube channel and have a look. And uh, they did like a little tour and interview. And uh, there's also a little bit of um, footage of our sail up here yesterday or the day before yesterday or whenever it was, can't remember. So give that a watch. So we've been watching them film all morning and uh, yeah, they're, very professional and they put us to shame that's for sure thank you Sam. that's good okay. all right nick you ready to go ashore and get some lunch and have a little walk and the f stuff. <laughs> so nick yes my love so this is the first time that we're seeing our beautiful big dinghy what kind of dinghy do we have uh it's a high field 3.6 center console 20 horsepower suzuki efi electric start <laughs> um with lifting drive leg it goes fast and will be good for adventuring exactly but now we're just going to the beach so 
So, Nick, I'm going to tell you something, What's and up? I need you to keep it in the absolute context in which we're talking about here, which is you do have a very big, obnoxious dinghy. Thank you. <laughs> Look at you with the arms crossed. Smugf***er.com. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you feel so posh right now? No, I feel like a twat. Okay. <laughs> You're going to freaking love it. All right, T to the V, do you want to jump are we attached? Oh, Nikki, wait, I'm not. Hang on. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> what about me? You're not coming, are you? Oh my god, hurry, my feet are on fire! Um, I did not, I did not get these shoes. Oh, come on, Nikki. Sorry, I'm sorry. I are they yours? Four of us, we've done like 25 years on board. <laughs> <laughs> and it does nothing for us. <laughs> uh, do you know where. Are yours inside? Of course they are. Okay, yep. you know where the keys? Yes. Okay, cool. So Nick, while That's we're waiting for Nikki, how do you feel about your new dinghy compared to our old setup? Well, we started off with a, what was it? It was a POS, like, roll-up 2 meter, 2.2 meter wooden slatted floor that we used to wrap drag behind us. Yeah. And then we kind of upgraded to a Hon wave. But then we moved to the Caribbean, that just disintegrated. Yeah. Like, dust in the wind. Yeah. And then... Yeah, what do we have? What was the... Well, thing? we only got a, a, an AB rib. That's right, of course. An aluminium floor. That was good, but we yeah. had a two-stroke engine on that. And that was, I hated that thing. I used to continually smack it with a hammer to try and get it to behave. It never would, right? <laughs> yup. <laughs> That's a two-stroke for you. That's a two-stroke. Yeah, now we've got this, which is like, yeah. And we almost had the smaller um, dinghy without the we center console. We did. Console. It was a literally, we scrapped the center console because we thought it was too much weight. Then we reapplied the center console, and now we've got it. And it, it's hyper have done a really good job, actually, with, like, putting teak in, flexi teak in, and all this other malarkey. So yeah. it looks, it's a nice-looking dinghy. Yeah. And it does this. But now you feel like a twat. I, feel, I do feel like a bit of a twat, actually, yeah. I must admit, there's a certain twatishness to this. I'm not going to deny that it is very... It's a lot. Is it necessary? No. Is it nice? Of course it Heck is. Heck yeah. Good. So we decided to get a taxi because it's a half an hour walk and it's uh, pretty hot today. So I think we're not quite sure where we're going. I'm just going to be the taxi driver. We'll just drop us off somewhere where there's people and we can get some lunch and I think we need to get some provisions and yeah, it's the area, so that's the plan. Beautiful. Probably also our impending dad, so actually, I'm trying to truck. I mean, this is where we're going. It's not that bad, is it, Nikki? It's, all good. it's not bad. Yeah. Is it safe? Probably not. No. But is it bad? No. Oh. But we get a nice little view this time, that's nice. All part of the charm of it. Exactly. It's going to be a relaxing afternoon now. Good evening everyone. I've had a very relaxing afternoon. Now it's that time of day for a little special drink and Nikki and Jason have bought a really beautiful bottle of gin and some yuzu tonic. I'm very excited about this. Nick's making dinner. What's for dinner babe? Pasta. Pasta love. Pasta a la, a la, a la. Pasta a la. It's pasta a la norma, is so, what he's trying to say. He gave me a very nice description of what we were having for dinner, and then you come and ask, and he's like, pasta love. Yeah, so if you really want to know more about the pasta, <laughs> then you're going to have to go and watch Nikki's episode. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, you know, reality of um, a loving relationship. <laughs> Minimal communication. <laughs> it's all we really need. All right, drinky time. Use your tonic, 
and Hendrix Neptune Gin. Limited release that captures the magic of the sea. Okay. Jason's working, bless him. Double fisting. Triple fisting, Nikki. Triple fisting. Oh, on that note, cheers. Cheers. Mm. That's nice. She's nice. Mm. Mm. nice. That's lovely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> basil. Yeah. Basil. Yes. My fellow Americans, that's basil. Basil. Basil's a man. Basil's a man. Basil's basil is a herb. Her herb. We invented it's her herbs. We f it up. <laughs> Messed up the word aluminium, took the U out the flavour. And apparently you spelled vice to come. Yeah, I worked that out yesterday. Yeah, S E. V I U is your vice for it. Oh, wow. Yeah, V I S E. Like, yeah, like for a the tool. <laughs> I have a vice and then I have a vice. Yeah. <laughs> I like that this is the stuff that we actually record, which makes us sound like a bunch of idiots. <laughs> Meanwhile, at lunch, we're having this very in-depth conversation yeah. about culture and, and politics and... Yeah. yeah, and we sounded so intelligent for yeah. like five seconds. Yeah, and then you were like, vice is going two different ways. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you say authorized, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes, we do. Okay, now we got all that out of the way. All right, well, I'm going to turn the camera off so we can yeah. engage in some intelligent conversation. <laughs> Try not to talk. I just said to me, try not to talk for a minute because I need to tell everyone to subscribe. Subscribe! <laughs> Thanks for watching, we really appreciate it. It's Leave a comment. Free. Yeah, Nick, anything else you want to say? I didn't say. Okay, <laughs> on that note, see you next week. We have a small problem. So our uh, water maker is uh, acting up on us, but it's not putting it into the tank. This has been quite the Learning curve, me. Baptism of fire. Oh, hey, shit. Oh, this boat is stressing me out. I'm actually feeling great about it. I'm going to fully quiet the shits with this thing. I have salt water, which is a problem. The craziest thing of my entire life just happened. Sailing can bite you in the ass yeah. very, very, very quickly. Moments like this, I just think, oh my God, how good is this? That is so much better. Why didn't we do that to begin with? <laughs>